I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I forgot something. Forgot one more thing aside from the NAL schedule releasing. That's it's nothing. It's a weird little schedule this year for the NAL. Um, so all the schedules with all the indoor leagues have been released. NAL finally was released in, um, in a timely fashion this year. Um, a little bit better, but, you know. You know, it was supposed to be released on November the 1st, but it ended up being released in December. But it is what it is. Um, but the real news, the real thing that's happening is that the IFL, the Indoor Football League, has been purchased by um, the Jermaine family, car dealership family. Um, they own the Frisco team, the new Frisco team that's appearing this year, who probably will probably only play one year, let's be honest, because... Frisco is a booming sports town that probably doesn't need something so niche like the IFL, but that's that's for another day. But the Tremaines, they purchased a lot of stuff relating to the IFL. Um, I'm not sure if they have full control, I'm not sure if they have partial control, but I do know that they um, got a lot of stuff, and, and it was crazy. You know, to really think about this, this could mean something. This could mean something down the line. What what are they thinking? Um, and also, the other thing that they did was um, get a Columbus team. They there's a team that's going to be appearing in Columbus 2021. Um, the IFL's goal has been for a long time to get to 16 teams. Um, well, at least that's what it's been since you know what's been happening ever since a couple seasons ago where they were down to just six teams. But um, but their goal is to get to 16. I'm not sure how they're going to get 16 stable owners. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure what the plan is here for the IFL. I'm not sure what their plan here is. I'm not sure what the Jermaines are planning. I'm not sure what they're thinking. What are they trying to prove? Because the YouTube streams that they do are just fine. There's no need to change that. Um, I mean, they can make money off the YouTube dreams and everything like that because they have plenty of subscribers and everything like that, at least 10K. Uh, so they can, you know, milk some money off of that with ads and stuff. Of course, you know, you got to get around the YouTube loopholes because YouTube is a crazy, crazy place. But uh, I do believe the IFL makes... Not a lot, but a little bit of money off these ads that they put on my videos um, for their games that they stream and everything like that, the highlights and stuff. But I'm not sure what this move entails. I'm not sure what in the world would the Jermaines be planning. Do they even are they even going to do anything about the Frisk theme, or are they just going to let it die after one year? I have no idea. I really don't. But. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get this out because I also cover the IFL and all the other indoor leagues. I'm not sure what's going on with the AAL though. Don't don't ask me about that. Um, don't don't ask anybody about the AAL. It's a freak show. But um, yeah, kind of a weird year. Lots of team. Lot well, all three of the indoor leagues have an odd number of teams. And weird looking schedules, but you know what? It is fine. And some strange things have happened ever since um, the end of August when the NAL season ended. Some, some strange things have happened, but it's time to, you know, move on. We're getting, all, we're getting a lot closer to March. We're getting a lot closer to the indoor season, getting ready and getting started. So I'm excited for that. But are you excited for that? Um, hopefully, um, there won't be any more noise until March when we actually start covering the IFL and AL and CIF more on a kind of a weekly basis around here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's going to basically do it for this video. Again, you guys are real MVPs. My name is Big Boy Sports, and we're signing off here. We'll see you guys on Tuesday, hopefully.